Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial guys, it's just basically an update version for my channel due to taking all my videos down. I've done this by choice, not because I've been requested. In this tutorial guys, I'm going to show you how to the source URL, download the iStream installer and use the one click install to install iStream. This will do everything basic guys, it does not cover all the settings and hosts, indexes or anything like that, it just basically gives you a full download and a basic setup. I will take you through the settings, so first off to get started guys, we need to go to system, from the drop down menu, file manager, we're going to add source, in the top box we want to put the new source URL which is http colon forward slash forward slash exunitytalk.me forward slash xfinity. We're going to click done um, because we've added xfinity to the end of the URL it's automatically took its name but what we're going to do guys is add a dot at the beginning click ok now we're going to select the home button then go into system add-ons install from zip file and because we added the dot at the beginning guys as you can see it's put it top of the list so we're going to click on dot xfinity and we're going to select iStream installer dot zip now that's added and enabled guys we're going to click the home button, go into programs, go into the iStream installer and we're going to select install without skin, Helix compatible tool. What this is doing now guys is downloading all, basically it's dependencies, what iStream requires. If any of the extensions or anything are outdated guys, they will be downloaded after you've used the iStream installer, they will be updated. Now that's done, we're going to select the home button, go across to video, down to add-ons, and this is iStream now installed. So we're going to click on it guys, you'll be presented with a pop-up, select accept, and then select iStream again. I'm just going to take you into the settings. So these are the settings for movies. I'm just going to edit this because it doesn't work for me. And that's that done. And because I've done it in the movies, it will automatically change it in the TV shows also. So I'm going to take you into the movies section. This is just general information. You can select by quality, how you want it to show, like whether you want 1080 first or 720 first, entirely up to you. You can select HD first and so on. You can change these in any order that you wish. Indexers, these are where you can select which you prefer to get your movie information from. Sources, these are where the sources are scanned to give you your links to your hosts and stream. I am going to disable that one, disable that, disable that. You can disable and enable whichever one you like guys, it's entirely up to you. Your best thing to do is go through them and find out what works for you and what doesn't. A fair few of them are pre-enabled guys, but some don't work for me so I like to disable them and I like to select what I like. But as I said at the beginning of this video, this is just a basic video on how to get you installed and running basically. Now 
the live TV section as I said earlier it's a basic setup so only TV shows and movies will be set up for the live TV section you will have to go into the Exumpty Talk repository go into services and enable a few other extensions so these are the TV ones that are already enabled once again you can enable and disable whichever one you prefer like I said earlier a lot work for me a lot don't so that's pretty much it you've got XBMC integration this is where it integrates into your library if you have your library set up internet connection you can enable a proxy you can add proxies you can assign proxies the general settings this is default theme I'm not going to get into all the settings guys currently you can change your views in auto view you can add a remote or local database which keeps a backup of your library I'm just going to select most popular I'm not going to be playing any links guys due to specific reasons I don't want to have to take the video down again due to whatever reason I'm just going to say this while this, this is going guys uh, don't forget to read the description if anything changes like the source URL or anything like that guys I will add it to the description so that's just a quick tip if you end up running into trouble on any of my videos check out the description if there isn't an updated video I will add updated details in the description I don't know why this is taking so long, it doesn't usually. As you can see, a couple of 1080, a couple of 720, a lot of DVD. But just because it says this guys, doesn't mean that it is that quality. I have found where a couple of the 1080s have only been 720s and the 720s are actually 720 but I have also found a few of them in the DVD section that are listed on screen now guys as DVD but I have found that they're actually HD 720 so a bit of hit and miss but as I say there's plenty of links to choose from just going to take a quick look in TV shows It's definitely the exchange guys it's either my exchange that's getting hammered or the source that all the metadata is being sourced from is being hammered ninety nine point nine percent of the time it just flies through this for me so 
So I will put it down to either the source is being hammered, like getting heavy use. Once again, a lot of HD 720 and also DVD quality. So that's pretty much it guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if this video helped you out. Also hit the subscribe button guys. And if you run into any problems, don't forget to comment in the comment section. And I will try my best to help you out however I can or inform you that there may be a problem along the line. Once again, thanks again guys, and I shall catch you on the next.